Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> Is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! <laughs> Your Grace, I shall assemble a battue. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Go ahead. Send them to their death. Certain death. To a lone Witcher, perhaps. To forty of my men at arms, but another skirmish. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guardsmen in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What, then, do you intend to do? It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. Soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. 
Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me? Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mm. Mm, yes, yes. The, the west bank of the Saint Latour. No, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Mm, hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. Saint Real. The 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. Song real. Never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. As I said, it is only ever served to the ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper. Unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. In matters of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. Wait. Your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. Have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure. But he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Panthers have attacked the wagon! Slower. We must help! Stay back, Your Grace! We shall see to this! Back, you beast! Be gone! They were fortunate Thank to have you. happened by. You saved our lives. Hooray! Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in all Tucson. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabricio. He trustworthy? 
He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonrial stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Hey there. Captain de la Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? This is an inspection. We've got questions. You'll answer them. Oh, and who are you, sir, to speak to me this way? This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. Want to talk about saint Real? I am at your service. Some of this wine might have been stolen. Just a suspicion we have, but... Any burglaries lately? Burglaries? Not to my knowledge. And a few days past, I took stock of the inventory. Uh, all was accounted for. The barrels lie safely in the cellar, I assure you. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace? How am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. Either you lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it! In either case, you shall answer for it. But... but... Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is the Sonreal stored? In... In the main cellar, around the corner, I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Here it is. Come, Witcher. We shall wait here, Master Fabricio. What if Fabricio's blackmailing the vampire? Consider that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Mm, vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Mm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. 
Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Right here. 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. Full. Full. Full? Full. This one's full too. Full. Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of Sanria? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready. We can start. Ready. Step aside. I'd recognize this taste anywhere. This one is good. <laughs> Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But, Your Grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything, if you agree to show me mercy. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool, very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Who'd you sell the wine to? A few weeks past at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Wine itself. How'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men. The kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there. They transferred it to their cart 
and we went our separate ways. That's it? That the last you ever saw of them? They... that is to say, a, a few days passed, a, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel and, well, I've prepared it, have it ready to deliver. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabrizio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sintry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. See no reason to wait. Let's get going. We will set out now. Position ourselves before you arrive. You take the cart and meet us there. Fine. When the handoff begins, watch for my signal. Favorite Vintner. It's not him. Just me, or did we agree you'd wait for my signal? That was the plan, but... Great shot. Good thing you reacted. Can't say how that would have ended otherwise. At your service. It was a good fight. We managed to capture one of the scoundrels. Let's ask him a few questions. Come on. Witcher, a moment. I was wrong about you. Well, had no reason to trust me, and I didn't do much to change that. True. You are not the most endearing of men. At any rate, I see the effort you put forth. 
and I appreciate it. Let us go to her grace. She awaits nearby. Wait, she here? I hope you did not think I would leave this to you alone, especially when every hour could prove essential. This prisoner of yours, bring him to me. We must ask him some questions. <laughs> Captain, do the honors. Who sent you? His name is Dog. They say he plowed your mother. Once again, who sent you? Your nun's lover. They call it... Wait. He doesn't wish to speak. He needs it. I can think of several other ways he can be helpful. I'm certain the Witcher will need bait to lure the beast of Beauclair. What? what? Sure can. Fresh out. In that case, he is all yours. Captain, have your men find me a strong rope. Kind that won't snap when we hang this fellow from a tree. Rope? Live bait. Great for monsters, provided they catch the scent of its blood. But I'll see to that. What? No. Crikey, no! Don't let him! Stop screaming. Save your strength. Got a long night ahead of you. No! Don't let him! I I'll talk! Barrels. Where were you gonna take them? I don't know. Captain, need that rope after all. I truly don't know. Hornet's the leader, only he ever knew where to go. But he lies over there, dead. That one. The first barrel went to a warehouse at the port. But where this one was bound, I don't know. I, I speak true, you must believe me. Who hired you? He... he'll kill me. Ought to be worried about me right now. Who is he? Go on, man. Spit it out. The Sintrian? That is what they call him. I've never seen him, but I know he mustered the men for this caper. That's what they said, that we were working for the Sintrian. I don't know anything else. I swear it. Take him away. Throw him in the dungeon. He shall await trial there. Captain, we ride to town. Gather your men and seek out the Sintrian. Someone else must have seen him, must know of him. Yes, Your Grace. I'll report to the palace as soon as I learn anything. I shan't return to the palace. Our mission has not yet ended. The Witcher and I will await you at the guard post near the port. Let's go to town. It's late. Relax, he'll come. There's something I'd like to know. How can you be so damned calm? Side effect of my mutations. We witchers rarely get the jitters. What if something has happened to him? Captain seems like a man who can take care of himself. Perhaps he can, but this Sintrian appears to be no common bandit. He managed to steal ducal wine from under my guardsman's noses. We only learned of it through a fortunate coincidence. And it was he who specified the victims for the vampire. One must be exceptionally confident to blackmail such a monster. Still don't know this Sintrian's behind the kidnapping and blackmail. Might have just handled the theft of the wine. Even if it's so, he then sold the wine to the blackmailers. As I see it, that makes him an accomplice. Need to find the Sintrian, whether or not he's responsible for the murders. Even if none of it's his doing, he could still know our blackmailer's identity. Besides, it's one thing to know who ordered the killings. Other thing entirely and just as important is why they... Someone's coming.
Captain, why so long? We expected you hours ago. This Centrium does not work alone. We are fighting an organization, not one man. Bandits attacked us, not a small force either. One of my boys has a broken arm, another a shattered knee, lamed for life. And the word on the street is there's a hefty bounty on your head, Geralt. Used to it. Not the first time I've been hunted. Must you always? Now, the port warehouse where the wine was delivered, we identified it, then learned who had hired it out. This proved to be a beggar, a stand-in. We found him. He admitted all. A man had paid him to sign the lease, a man he met while begging outside the pheasantry. There, fate lent us a hand. A waitress recalled spilling wine on a nobleman who spoke with a Cintrian accent. What did he look like? Her description was not helpful. Handsome, well-dressed, with a beard. No distinguishing marks. This could be anyone. But she remembered his female companion very well, as she recognized her. On the Cintrian's arm was Cecilia Bellant. A singer? I've heard of her. She said to be gifted, fairy. The same. We went to her home immediately. Cecilia was not there, but we questioned her servants. A chambermaid claimed Cecilia is to meet a Cintrian gentleman tonight. She'd invited him to a reception mounted by the Mandragora. The Mandragora? What's that? A club. An affiliation of local artists. Painters, sculptors, troubadours and dancers. Never heard of it. They exude a mystique, consciously, I think. Behaving like an exclusive cabal. Artistic elites. Every now and again they mount soirees. Only wealthy patrons are invited. All arrive in elaborate masks, then drink and flirt. Gotta nab the Cintrian. Seems we have to go to that get-together. You read my mind, Witcher. I shall gather my men, surround the establishment. Not a mouse will squeeze through. Out of the question. If the Cintrian truly does have men about the city, he will find out and escape once again. Duchess is right. Need to be careful. Best go there, blend in with the crowd. Precisely what we shall do. We, Your Grace. Geralt and I. In that sort of company, the Witcher could use my help. Where's the event gonna be held? The Mandragora always assembles at the same place. A residence in Oatville. It's a very distinguished district. Geralt, you must don appropriate attire. Then meet me in Oatville, in Mountebank Alley. surprise me. such a sense of style. Not all bad. Nothing like a budding artist, of course, but... Just one other detail. Here, put it on. A mask? All who attend the Mandragora Soiree wear them. If you have one on, no one asks who you are. Any idea why they wear masks? 
likely because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. The truth is far simpler. This way no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm-hmm. Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise, that's certain. How do we find the Sintrian? Have you a plan? Key is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Especially since he might be expecting us. What do you mean? Ran into some of his thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances prepared by artists of our community. Tell us about these performances. This evening, the Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont. A singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has sung. A shame. You would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from far off a fear. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm, I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. Let's hear it. Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. Well, well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask? It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kaviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Him, all right. Good versus evil. The dualistic nature of man. And defiance. Look at the mage. I believe he's casting spells. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, 
dolphins. That is no ordinary illusion. The man is a true artist. Man, impressive. This step, shoo, shoo. Mm -hmm. It's the right flower. Of course it is. A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still. You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Wow. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me? I... I've heard Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, uh, at one point the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but alas, ultimately refused my terms. What was the matter? When he learned I only ever paint nudes, he severed all contact. He said he would not dare offend her illustrious highness with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her such a shame. I think... you may still get your chance. We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But... why? Cintrian Noble you came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Cintrian Noble? Ah! You must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it. But I did see the nobleman. Really liked to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark... Masked? Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame. Monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. Someone left their loot behind. Looks a little like dandelions. This was scratched. Someone beat him twice. <laughs> Love letter penned on a napkin. Look. Oh, my amour, my sunbeam flickering across the firmament of my life. from the Cynthian, I imagine. Scent still hangs in the air. Let's follow it. It is irrelevant to the work's ultimate meaning. Look, lanterns. They say releasing them brings good luck. Fine. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Never suspected you believed in such things. He doesn't come. He'll definitely come. Don't worry. How can you be so sure? Brother dearest, trust me. Sorry, only artists in the Mandragora allowed. Come, we must consider what to do. 
I... I'd recognize that voice anywhere. You... you must be mistaking me for someone else. I served 15 years in the palace. Your Grace, I'd not mistake you for anyone. Shh! Not so loud. We are here incognito, on state business. Yes, Your Grace. How may I serve? I hope we can count on your discretion. Of course. I shall be silent as the grave. Looking for Cecilia Bellant, seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look like? Tall, broad-shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent, a drawl of sorts. That must be him. We must get to the dressing room, quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. Quickly, upstairs. be Cecilia. No pulse. We're too late. He... He slit her throat. The brute. Mm. Didn't go out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana. At once. She should bring her soiree to a close. Shouldn't split up. Get up, I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. Tore down the door. Made a platform. Clever. Must be pretty strong, too. Broke the flower pot when moving the door. And stepped in the soil. Mm, must have climbed this ladder. is cut. Somebody took a knife to the painting, looks like. Must have. 
Tiny chain links next to it. From a snapped necklace? Seems there was a struggle. Hunting knife. Richly ornamented. Used during the fight, probably. Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought, struggled, that's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Jewel's still here, though, so our Centrion must have been the flyer. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here, but I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last, finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail. I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman. In a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like mere ornament, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewellery. Mm-hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntine. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Duntine. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir. Roderick returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights, though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Oriana, everything we discussed here... Hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. 
We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward. But in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victims' names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. Who were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It... it could be something else altogether. My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. She left court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Geralt, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Could also be because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain. Though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had, that he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. Think your sister might be involved? Why? You see... I recall her always being rather possessive, throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, yeah, that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. But I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Toussaint. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen. Or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm. Could be right. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Dun Tyne, and if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape or form. You must make sure of that. I'll find her if she's there. I hope you do. I very much wish to talk to her, sister to sister. Your Grace, Geralt. I'd like to introduce... Regis! What a surprise! 
I had no idea you were in Beauclair. And this is... Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Eretain, an arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the witch's hunt. Ah, yes. Splendid. But why are you here at Oriana's? They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages. Literally. Witcher, I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. Few I can rely on like I can on Regis. Kinda hoping he thinks the same of me. Curious. It seems opposites really do attract. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely hides them from the world very diligently. Mm-hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a monster, knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed? Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. For what might a monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice, when loved ones are at risk and require protection. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough about the Witcher trade for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazaire. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep-cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. Wanna help Regis? Know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. An exceptional conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly exceptional, Regis. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are gonna watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detlaf believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. Mm-hmm. Oriana, she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago, before I met you, and before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, I, I can't begin to tell you in how long. But I shall tell you all about her some other day. Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntine Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long-lost sister there too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got away with- No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Dedloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detlaf. Good luck, my friend. Splendidly, Detlaf. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, Choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. 
especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis, gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your Grace, always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? You have exceptional friends. This Detlaf, an intriguing man to say the least. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much, but I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive. Sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost. Which is why he comes across as grim. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm-hmm. Gotta go to Dantine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count Lacroix's Mill. It stands along the San Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. <laughs> 